Well, earlier this week, we heard that Manny Machado is planning to opt out of his current contract and test free agency following the 2023 season. With Padres opening day set for March 30th here, look, there's a lot to discuss. Javier Reyes, host of Locked On Padres podcast, joining us now to break it all down here. So, hey, thanks for joining us again. I always appreciate your insight here. I see you got your bobblehead, your Tatis Jr. bobblehead there. That's always uh, nice to see. We'll talk about him in a moment, but hey, yes, give him a little kiss. Uh, he needs <laughs> some, some healing maybe from his injuries still. Uh, let's talk about Manny Machado, though. Everyone's been uh, talking about it back here in San Diego, uh, this opt-out clause. Look, my kids were so confused about the contract, Javier. They're, they're like, hey, I thought he was here for 10 years, right? So yeah. tell us about the opt-out. Will he be in brown and gold in 2024? I think it's more likely than not. I, I think that the Padres are not going to pull, say, what the Milwaukee Brewers did last week. Everyone was talking about their star pitcher. They were, you know, swindling or they were shortchanging him for $800,000. I don't think that the Padres are going to do that. I think that hometown discount exists to an extent. I think it exists in terms of him going to give them the first and last calls. He's going to be more inclined to want to stay here, similar to what you saw with Aaron Judge of the Yankees. But I don't think it means you can get away with offering him like $60 million less. You know what I mean? Then he's going to be like, all right, that's a little insulting. Sure. He'll probably try and go elsewhere. But I think it's more likely than not. Not a guarantee, certainly, but I would look at what happened this past season with the Yankees and Aaron Judge. That one had all sorts of drama. Yeah. Right? Everyone was freaking out. He's going to San Francisco Giants and didn't end up happening. So I still think it's uh, uh, the Padres, um, and especially Peter Seidler said, it's his top priority. So I yeah. That's good. Well, let's hope it goes the way of the judge, right? Uh, look, we've been um, we've been beefing up our pitching, signing Waka, Hamels, Lugo. Look, this has been kind of an issue in the past, our Achilles heel, if you will, trying to get deep into the playoffs, even to a championship uh, race. I'm looking at the uh, pitching staff here. We look pretty deep here. I mean, what do you what, what do you think? Are we have we added some good arms? I think so. I think so. They definitely don't have like a, you know, ultimate top five. I alluded to Corbin Burns earlier. They don't have that type of guy. Maybe mm -hmm. a Justin Verlander, Max Scherzer, like the Mets do. But they do have like three, like a three headed Hydra type of just consistent pitchers at the top with Snell, Darvish, and Musgrove, of course. And he goes on. And I think Nick Martinez and Seth Lugo, maybe they could be potentially either one of them fill out that fifth spot. And Michael Waka, while I'm not totally sure how he's going to produce, I right. think that he might have maybe overperformed a little bit last year with the Red Sox. He's still a guy that can throw you innings. Let's hope and he stays on top hot. Of all of that, or go ahead, sorry. Yeah, let's hope he stays hot. I mean, he did well for the Red Sox, as you pointed out, and uh, hopefully he fills that 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 role nicely for us. Speaking of roles, Tatis Jr., your bobblehead buddy there. Uh, where is he yeah. going to go? I mean, we've got Machado at third, Bogarts at shortstop, maybe what, Kim at second, Cronenworth taking first base. Uh, the roster says he's a shortstop. He and Bogarts are going to just uh, swap out. What do you think? I don't think they're going to swap out necessarily. They're too talented to keep on the bench or whatever. I mean, at the beginning, of course, following Tatis' suspension, we'll have to see how he comes back from that. But they already said, you know, Juan Soto is going to be in left field, which considering he did not have the best defensive year last no, year, maybe that's for the best. <laughs> um, and Tatis is going to be an outfielder for a little bit. And I think he's going to be hungry. And I think he's going to want to prove himself. He's got the talent. He's got the athleticism, the speed and the arm strength. So he's certainly got a chance but we haven't seen him all that much. So that's still certainly a question, at least defensively, for Fernando Tatis Jr. is how is he going to play in the outfield, which is uh, quite different than the end. Yeah, so absolutely. Totally scenario. different positioning there. It'd be interesting to see him out there, maybe uh, potentially in right field with Grisham in center. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, spring training. Okay, it's going on. But a lot mm -hmm. of kids having fun out there and everything. But mm -hmm. uh, for the players, for the roster, are cuts still being made? Are repositioning happening? Like, what is what is happening? What are the coaches looking at? Well, obviously, as you know, Manny Machado really struggling. I don't know if he's going to make the team, man. Uh, but no, seriously, uh, the, yeah. the, the core type of folks, the Justice League lineup with Bogart, Soto, Manny, your Tatis, you know, all those Jake Cronenworth guys like that, they're going to make the team. For me, I think I would recommend Padres fans following Adrian Morejon, Ryan Weathers, and Jay Groom to see if those guys make the team because they could okay. be guys that down the line, say some injury happens, say Martinez or Seth Lugo don't fill out that fifth spot in the rotation, they could take over. And I, I really like Adrian Morejon especially. I think he's got a lot of talent. By the I way, I not think the book is out on him. Morejon, one of the four players born in 1999. Keep that in mind. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that wild. ages I'm me. older than him. It's crazy. Yeah. Hey, we only got about 20 seconds left. Will this be the team that goes to the world champion? the ship this year 
Man, that's the question. Look, if they did make it super, super close last year, I'm inclined to say yes. Okay. I am on CBS 8 San Diego. That's so right. Why not? Yeah, let's, they'll make it to the World Series. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, I think they've got the roster. This is the year for them to go deep here. All right, I always appreciate your time. Thanks, buddy, for uh, sitting and chatting with us about your buddy there. Yeah, make sure you keep healing Tatisa. We want him back 100%. I'm, there. Doing, I'm doing my best. Yeah, there I'm you doing go. My best. A little back massage there. All right, stay